Hello everybody, if you're trying to do your F2L completely rotationless, these two cases can really suck. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do these cases rotationlessly and more efficiently. Starting off with this case right here. So what most people do is they cube rotate, they break it up like this and insert it. It's easy, but it's very inefficient. There are a couple different ways that this case here can be solved, okay? The first way is by pairing it up like this and then pairing this back up. Which isn't too bad, but with all those R2 and U moves, it's not very regripless, so it may be a little bit hard to do fast. There's a much better algorithm that you can use that I feel can be applied much quicker, and it is rotationless and it will only require R and U moves. The algorithm is R U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime. And as you can see, that solved that case. As for the inverse one, the algorithm for that is L prime, U, L, U prime, L prime, U, L, U2, L prime, U, L. And as you can see, that solved that case. Now on to the other case. This case here is even more difficult to do. What most people would do is they would rotate, they'd break it up by going over the edge and then inserting it, very similar to the last one. And just like the last one, it is very easy but terribly inefficient. For this case here, if you did an algorithm that only has R and U moves, it will be very long and it may not be very efficient, but if you do an algorithm that requires has some F or B moves, it can actually make it a little bit quicker. The algorithm that I think is the best for it goes as follows. R, B, L, U prime, L prime, B prime, R prime. And as you can see, that solved that case. As for the inverse, it goes as follows. L prime, B prime, R prime, U, R, B, L. And as you can see, that solved that case. If you get these from an angle where it requires a cube rotation, it's actually faster to just do the algorithm that I showed you before, that would be the beginner's method, and then do the rotation because it will save you less moves because you won't have to do as many moves. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys, and if you like it, I'll make more of these videos. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video.